The impersonal life. I am. To you who read, I speak. To you who through long years and much running to and fro have been eagerly seeking in books and teachings, in philosophy and religion, for you know not what. Truth, happiness, freedom, God. To you whose soul is weary and discouraged and almost destitute of hope. To you who many times have obtained a glimpse of that truth, only to find when you followed and tried to reach it that it disappeared in the beyond and was but the mirage of the desert. To you who thought you had found it in some great teacher who is perhaps the acknowledged head of some society, fraternity, or religion, and who appeared to you to be a master, so marvelous was the wisdom he taught and the works he performed, only to awaken later to the realization that that master was but a human personality, with faults and weaknesses and secret sins, the same as you, even though that personality may have been a channel through which were voiced many beautiful teachings, which seemed to you the highest truth. And here you are, soul aweary and unhungered, and not knowing where to turn. To you, I am come. Likewise to you, who have begun to feel the presence of that truth within your soul, and seek the confirmation of that which of late has been vaguely struggling for living expression within. Yes, to all you who hunger for the true bread of life, I am come. Are you ready to partake? If so, then arouse yourself, sit up, still your human mind, and follow closely my word herein spoken, or you will turn away disappointed once more, with the aching hunger still in your heart. I. Who am I? I, who speak with such seeming knowledge and authority. Listen. I am you, that part of you who is and knows, who knows all things, and always knew, and always was. Yes, I am you, your self, that part of you who says, I am, and is, I am. That transcendent, innermost part of you, which quickens within you as you read, which responds to this, my word, which perceives its truth, which recognizes all truth and discards all error wherever found, not that part which has been feeding on error all these years. For I am your real teacher, the only real one you will ever know, and the only master. I, your divine self. I, the I am of you, bring to you this, my message, my living word, as I have brought to you everything in life, be it book or master, to teach you that I and I alone, your own true self, am the teacher for you, the only teacher and the only God who is and always has been providing you not only with the bread and wine of life, but with all things needed for your physical, mental, and spiritual growth and sustenance. Therefore, that which appeals to you as you read is my message, spoken to your outer human consciousness from within, and is but a confirmation of that which the I am of you always knew within, but had not yet translated in definite, tangible terms to your outer consciousness. Likewise, all that ever appealed to you, coming from some outward expression, was but the confirmation of my word already spoken within. The outward expression was the avenue or means I chose at the time through which to reach and impress your human or self-consciousness. I am not your human mind, nor its child, the intellect. They are but the expression of your being, as you are the expression of my being. They are but phases of your human personality as you are a phase of my divine impersonality. Weigh and study carefully these words. Rise up and free yourself now and for always from the domination of your personality, with its self-inflated and self-glorifying mind and intellect. For your mind henceforth must be your servant and the intellect your slave if my word is to penetrate to your soul consciousness. I am come now to your soul consciousness which I have quickened expressly in preparation for the reception of my word. Now, if you are strong enough to bear it. If you can put aside all your private personal fancies, beliefs, and opinions, which are but the rubbish you have gathered from the dumping grounds of others, if you are strong enough to cast them all away, then my word will be to you a source of endless joy and blessing. 
Be prepared to have this personality of yours doubt my word as you read it along the way, for its very life is threatened, and it knows it cannot live and thrive and longer dominate your thinking, your feelings, your going and coming as of old, if you take my word into your heart and permit it there to abide. Yes, I am come to you now, to make you conscious of my presence. For I have likewise prepared your human mind so that it can, in a measure, comprehend the meaning of me. I have been with you always, but you did not know it. I have purposely led you through the wilderness of books and teaching, of religions and philosophies, keeping ever before your soul's eye the vision of the promised land, feeding you with the manna of the desert, that you might remember and value and long for the bread of the Spirit. Now I have brought you to the river Jordan that separates you from your divine heritage. Now the time has come for you consciously to know me. The time has come for you to cross over into Canaan, the land of milk and honey. Are you ready? Do you want to go? Then follow this, my word, which is the ark of my covenant, and you shall go over dry shod.